Hey babes, this video is going to be showing you how to create the spotlight halo smoky eyes. Very warm toned, very dewy, very highlighted. This look is so dramatic and I love how dramatic it is and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video guys. So guys, I'm first going to be shaving my stubble off. I haven't shaved in a couple of days and I've had a haircut. What do you guys think? I kind of like it, I like it. And I've cut them off puff because it was getting a little bit too long. As a base, I'm just going to be using a little bit of Becca Lumina Skin Colour in Olive. And I'm using my Nan Sheet Flawless Foundation Brush for this. And a lot of people go for matte skin during the winter time, but I'm going for a dewy look because, again, I don't want my skin to look too dry. For the brows, I'll be using my brow bar to go by Whitening Lightning. Just fill in the eyebrows using short strokes. To set that into place, I'm going to be using my Mimi Me Archangel and brush the brows up. I like the bushy sort of look, so I just like to make my brows look really full. To clean that up, I'm going to be using my OCC Skin Conceal NY1. And you guys are probably tired of seeing the same brow concealer trick that I've been doing for a lot of my videos, but this is what I like to do, guys. So for the eyes, I'm first going to take my orange eyeshadow from my Sugar Pill palette. This is called Flame Point. Tilt your brush downwards into the crease and blend that in. This is very bright as a transitional colour, but it's all going to work out as you can see from this eye. It is dramatic, it is a dramatic look, but I love it. I'm going to apply that under the eye as well. Once that has been diffused, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and take this dark brown shade. It's a deep brown with warm undertones. And apply that into the inner corner of the lid and also the outer corner. So we're kind of leaving the centre bare. And we're also going to do the same for the lower lash line. Apply the dark brown onto the outer and inner corner of the eye, leaving the centre bare. So this is what you call a spotlight smoky eye because or a halo smoky eye because the centre part is where it's highlighted rather than the inner corner. I'm taking my blending brush and blending the dark brown through the crease. On the centre part of the lid I'm going to be applying my Makeup Revolution Awesome Metals Eyeshadow in Magnificent Copper. This is like a metallic creamy eyeshadow that's sort of glittery but doesn't have any fallout and it's incredible and since I'm applying my eyeliner really thick I'm not going to apply it directly to my lash line I'm just going to apply it right here and above and slightly blend that towards the dark brown but not too much apply that to the bottom center lash line as well Okay, so now I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner and do my winged liner and I'm applying it really really thickly and also creating a winged liner look on the inner corner. With whatever's left on the brush just apply that to the outer half of the lower lash line being very careful to not get it in your waterline. And take an angled brush and the brown eyeshadow from before and just blend that liner a little bit. I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in Perversion and apply that to the inner and outer waterline, not applying it in the middle because that will defeat the purpose of having a highlight in the middle. For the mascara, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Miss Mango Lashes and we're doing the same for the mascara in the bottom, so apply it into the outer corner and the inner corner but not on the centre because we want the glitter to really show up. And these are the lashes that I'm going to be using. And that's the eyes done. Okay, moving back onto the face, I'm first going to be using a veil corrector. And this is the shade yellow. I'm using my Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. And this is going to highlight and correct my under eye area. A little bit of this goes a long way. And we're also applying that onto the center of the nose. 
To clean up the wing, what you want to do is just take a flat edge, just run the corrector or concealer, whatever you're using, just run that just next to the liner so that it creates a sharp edge. I'm taking my Primark stippling brush just to blend that out. As an actual concealer, I'm going to be using my Last Imperfection by Collection. Apply that on any redness. Now to set that, I'm going to be using my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I've pressed it into this compact and I've got a DIY video on it. Link is down below. So I'm using my cheek brush from Real Techniques and just setting the makeup. To contour the face, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Golden Light. I'm using the same brush that I used to powder my face. I want the skin to be really warm. That's why I'm using a warm toned bronzer. I'm going to contour the nose as well. For blush, I'm going to be using Everblenna in Honest. For highlight, I'm going to be using my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Superb. How pretty is that? That's so pretty. It's limited edition though, so sorry guys. <laughs> just use any highlighter that you like. I'm just applying that to the tops of the cheekbones to make my skin dewy. Don't apply it really near to the eye because that can accentuate fine lines and that's not the look I want to go for. I'm applying a little bit of that onto the center of the nose, the cupid's bow. For the lips, I'm going to be taking MAC Whirl Lip Liner and I'm going to line the lips with this. After that, I'm going to be filling it in with my MUA Lux London Velvet Lip Lacquer in Halcyon. So guys, this is the final look. This, oh my god, I love this look. So that is it, you guys. This has been Mark the Prince of Vanity. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And um, what else can you do? Comment below, because reading your comments, I really do love it. I've not been replying to a lot of comments lately. I need to start doing that again, because I need to talk to you all. And I miss talking to you. But I read every single comment. So don't forget that I always read them, and I hope that you subscribe. God damn it. Bye, guys.